Let's take a look how to make this quick gradient effect here in Illustrator. All right, so first I'm gonna go to the fill, click on the none, and click on the stroke so it's gonna be on the top. And I'm gonna select the circle, press and hold shift plus alt, create a circle. And now we're gonna go to the stroke settings. I'm gonna click on the stroke and make sure that the stroke is aligned to the center. So I'm gonna click on this. And from here, you can increase the stroke thickness all the way up. So make sure that this hole, it is going to disappear by increasing the stroke thickness, something like this. From here, let's go to the gradient. I'm gonna activate the gradient. And here I'm gonna go and select the apply gradient along stroke. And this is how the default is going to look like. I'm gonna go and select the reverse gradient. So the black is going to be on the bottom here. And I'm gonna go and select the white gradient, press and hold Alt, drag it on the left side. And I'm gonna select the black gradient, press and hold Alt, drag it on the right side. And let's go to the location of this black color, press Control A, I'm gonna type in 50. So it's gonna put this gradient handle exactly at 50%. I'm gonna select the white and I'm gonna add 50 as well. So this way it's going to split it perfectly and I can go and add the colors. I'm gonna click here and for example, I'm gonna select the blue and I'm gonna make sure that the location here is 10 and I'm gonna add another one. I'm also gonna stretch this out so it's gonna be more easier. Now I'm gonna double click on the third one and I'm gonna select the green and here the location is gonna be 20, add another one. I'm gonna make this yellow. I'm also gonna customize it a little bit and make it lighter. And this is gonna be 30. And not but least, I'm gonna add another one. I'm gonna make this a red. And this is gonna be 40. And from here, I'm gonna need to fill up the other side with the same color. So I'm gonna select the first one, press and hold Alt, and drag it into the other side. And I'm gonna drag all of them yellow. And I'm gonna drag the white down so it's gonna disappear. I'm gonna press and hold Alt on the red, and the red is gonna go right here. And I'm gonna to go to the blue, this is gonna be 60, green, 70. And here I'm gonna push the yellow to 90. And then I'm gonna add another one, this is gonna be 80, and I'm gonna make this a little bit more lighter. Now, of course, if you wanna scale it up or scale it down, it's gonna make this hole again. So what we're gonna do is go here to the transform, click on the three dots and make sure to check scale strokes and effects. So now you can scale it however you like. And now from here, unfortunately, I'm gonna to need to expand this and I'm gonna create a new duplicate. I'm gonna press Control C and then Control B. Or you can go to the edit and select paste in back. And I'm gonna press and hold shift, scale it. And I'm gonna eyeball this because the blend mode is not working on this. And I'm gonna press and hold shift, rotate 90 degree angles. So now I'm gonna have this. I'm gonna select both, right click group. And I'm gonna scale it down, press control C, control B. And I'm gonna press and hold shift again, repeat the steps, scale it up. And I'm gonna intersect it with the circle right there. And repeat the step, control C, control B, and scale. And take a look at that. Now that looks beautiful. So that's how you work a little bit better with the gradients. Thanks for watching.